Good afternoon. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Well, how to do, Miss Twilight? A pleasure making your acquaintance. I'm Applejack. We here at Sweet Apple Acres sure do like making new friends. Friends? Actually, I... So, what can I do you for? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I am, in fact, here to supervise preparations for the Summer Sun celebration. And you're in charge of the food? We sure as sugar are. Would you care to sample some? Well, as long as it doesn't take too long. Soup song, every pony! <laughs> now, why don't I introduce y'all to the Apple family? Thanks, but I really need to hurry. This here's Apple Fritter. Apple Bumpkin, Red Gala, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Caramel Apple, Apple Scooter, Apple Tart, Baked Apples, Apple Brioche, Apple Cinnamon Crisp, Big Macintosh, Apple Blue, and Granny Smith. Up and at him, Granny Smith. We got guests. So <laughs> good. I'm a hair color, I'm color. Why, I'd say they're already part of the family. <laughs> Sorry, but we have an awful lot to do. Oh. Fine. Everyone in Ponyville, see? And now you have lots and lots of friends. Are you all right, Sugar Q? And how did you know about Nightmare Moon, huh? Are you a spy? Whoa! <sighs> Simmer down, Sally. She ain't no spy. But she sure knows what's going on, don't you, Twilight? I read all about the prediction of Nightmare Moon. Look, I appreciate the offer, but I'd really rather do this on my own. No can do, Sugar Cube. We sure ain't letting any friend of ours go into that creepy place alone. We're sticking to you like caramel on a candy apple. <laughs> Jack, what do I do? Let go. Are you crazy? No, I ain't. I promise you'll be safe. That's not true. Now listen here. What I'm saying to you is the honest truth. Let go, and you'll be safe. holding anything more than a bunny or two. There it is! The ruin that holds the elements of harmony. We made it! Twilight! Wait for a... Come on, Twilight. Isn't this what you've been waiting for? Stand back. I don't know what will happen. Come on now, y'all. She needs to concentrate. Jack, who reassured me when I was in doubt, represents the spirit of honesty. I felt it the very moment I realized how happy I was to hear you, to see you, how much I... Gee, Twilight, I thought you were just spouting a lot of hooey, but I reckon we really do represent the element. Now, if I... Just when I learn how wonderful it is to have friends, I have to leave You them. must continue to study the magic of friendship. She must report to me her findings from her new home in Ponyville. Oh, thank you, Princess Celestia. I'll study harder than ever before. Thank you kindly, Twilight, for helping me out. I bet Big Macintosh I could get all these golden delicious in the barn by lunchtime. If I will, he's gonna walk down Stirrup Street in one of Granny's girdles. <laughs> no problem at all, Applejack. I'm glad the goal is lunchtime. All this hard work is making me hungry. The Grand Galloping Gala! The Grand Galloping Gala! <laughs> yeah! Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, Spike. A dance would be nice. Nice? It's a heap good more than just nice. I'd give my left hind leg to go to that gala. Oh, well, in that case, would you like to... Whoa! Whoever has the best reason to go should get the ticket, don't you think? Drumming up business for the farm? A chance to audition for the Wonder Bolts? Money to fix Granny's hip? Living the dream! Oh my, 
Those were all pretty good reasons, aren't they? I couldn't risk a goody four shoes like you giving that ticket away to just anybody. Wait just another minute. Applejack, were you following me too? No, I was following this one to make sure she didn't try any funny business. Still trying to take my ticket. Your ticket? And when I do choose, will the other four be mad at me? I mean, I could give up my ticket and give away two, but that would still leave three disappointed homies. What if I... If you'll excuse me, I've been trying all day just to get some lunch. Did some pony say lunch? You've got to be kidding me. I got apple pie, apple fritters, apple tarts, apple dumplings, apple crisp, apple crumblers, and apple brown bag. The dessert, not my Annie. What do you say there, best friend? Is that a yes? No, no! I don't know who I'm giving the ticket to, and all these favors aren't making it any easier to decide. In fact, I'm less sure now than I was this morning! Ah! So, that's a maybe? It's important to all of you, and I just can't stand to disappoint any of you, and giving me gifts and doing me favors won't make any difference, because you're all my friends, and I want to make you all happy, and I can't! I just can't! Twilight Sugar, I, I didn't mean to put so much pressure on you. And if it helps, I don't want the ticket anymore. You can give it to some pony else. I won't feel bad, I promise. <laughs> I got the ticket! I got the ticket! I haven't perfected my signature moves for the Wonder Bolts anyway. I don't need that ticket either. We all got so gung-ho about going to the gala that we couldn't see how un-gung-ho we were making you. We're sorry, Twilight. If my friends can't all go, I don't want to go either. Twilight, you don't have to do that. Nope, I've made up my mind. I couldn't possibly enjoy myself without my best friends there with me. <laughs> so I would rather not go at all. Welcome, every pony. Today we are here to honor a pony we can always count on to help in matters great and small. A pony whose contributions to. Okay. Well, thank you, Applejack, for saving us from that scary stampede and always being there for every pony. Was it just me, or did Applejack seem a little... Tired? Dizzy? Messy? Well, did you see her mane? She seemed fine to me. Woo! Woo! Hmm. What on earth is that pony doing? Whoops. Hey, Applejack! Applejack! <laughs> Applejack! <laughs> Applejack! Oh. Howdy, Twilight! What is all this? It's apple book season. Whoa! Apple what season? Yeah. It's what the apple family calls harvesting time. We gather all the apples from the trees so we can sell them. But why are you doing it all alone? Because Big Macintosh hurt himself. What about all those relatives I met when I first came to Ponyville? Can't they help? Yeah, they were just here for the Apple family reunion. They actually live all over Equestria and are busy harvesting their own orchards. So, uh, how about my own? Which means I should really get back to work. Ahem. Hint, hint. Get back to work. Fine. Uh, could you step aside, Twilight? I just did. Applejack, Applejack you don't look so good. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, don't, don't none of you three worry none. I'm just fine and dandy. Whoa! Do you want some help? Help? No way, no how. But there's no way you can do it all on your own. Is that a challenge? Um, no. Well, I'm gonna prove to you that I can do it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got apples to book. Can I help you? I think some pony else needs your help. Applejack. Yep. Applejack, can we talk? Can be, Squawk? I don't think so. No. Can we talk? Twenty stocks? Bean or celery? 
sorry. No, I need to talk to you. You need to walk to the zoo? Well, who's stopping you? I need to talk to you. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? What you want to talk about? Rainbow Dash dropped in to see me today. That's quite neighborly of her. Yes, except that she crashed onto my balcony after you launched her into the air. Oh, yeah. I wasn't feeling quite myself this morning. Because you're working too hard and you need help. What? Help? I don't need help. I don't even like seaweed. Help! You need help! Nothing doing, Twilight. I'm gonna prove to you, to every pony, that I can do this on my own. Ow! Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go help Pinkie Pie. Uh. <laughs> Applejack, we need to talk. What? Huh? Oh, it's you, Twilight. I know what you're gonna say, but the answer is still no. Not to upset your apple cart, but you need help. Hardy, <laughs> har. And no, I don't. Here, let me help. Help? No, thanks. <laughs> A little more. A little. There. I'll prove that this apple can handle these apples. Come on, apples, fall off! AJ, I think you're beating a dead tree. I knew that. Actually, Applejack, I had something else to talk to you about. I just came back from Ponyville Urgent Care and... You know, I'm a little busy to get lectured right now, Twilight. But if you'd just let me help... Ugh. No, no, no! How many times do I gotta say it? I don't need no help from no pony! Ugh, that pony is stubborn as a mule. Finish harvesting? All right, Applejack. Your apple bucking hasn't just caused you problems. It's overpropelled Pegasus, practically poisoned plenty of ponies, and terrorized bushels of brand new bouncing baby bunnies. I don't care what you say, you need help. <laughs> ha! No, I don't. Look, I did it. I harvested the entire sweet apple acres without your help. <laughs> How'd you like them apples? Oh, um, how do you like them apples? <laughs> what all the apple picking in the bone is in the Jack? Applejack! Huh? Oh good. You're okay. Now, Applejack, I completely respect the Apple family ways. You're always there to help any pony in need. So maybe you can put a little of your stubborn pride aside and allow your friends to help you. Okay, Twilight. I am not taking no for an answer. What? Yes, Twilight. Yes, please. I could really use your help. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, my friend Applejack is the best friend a pony could ever have, and she's always there to help any pony. The only trouble is, when she needs help, she finds it hard to accept it. Girls, I can't thank you enough for this help. I was acting a bit stubborn. A bit? Okay, a mite stubborn. Well, how about it? Hmm, is there anything you can do that the great and powerful Trixie can't? I, I... Well, little hayseed. That's it. I can't stand for no more of it. What we need is another unicorn to challenge her. Someone with some magic of her own. Yeah, a unicorn to show this unicorn who's boss. A real unicorn to unicorn to... Heavens to Betsy. We knew you had ability, but not that much. I'm sorry. Please, please don't hate me. Hate you? So, you don't mind my magic tricks? Your magic is a part of who you are, Sugar Cube, and we like who you are. We're proud to have such a powerful, talented unicorn as our friend. <laughs> Don't worry, Twy. We'll be there lickety-split. Come on, Fluttershy. We should be much farther along by now. You could just leap on over. I... I don't know. Thanks to you, I am. Applejack, you're ready with the apples in case he decides to attack. Twilight, you gotta come see this. She's just five away from a new pony ready. 
I'm mighty sorry, Twilight. It's... Well, it's not okay. There's a giant tree branch in the middle of my bedroom. And the book doesn't say anything about having a giant tree branch at your slumber party. Or at least I haven't found that entry yet. <gasps> what do we do? <gasps> I got it! No pony can herd like Applejack. Yeah! We can drive him back into the forest! <sighs> I'll wrestle him up, but I'll need every pony's help to do it. Twilight, you and Rarity wait over there. I'll herd the little critter straight at you like a funnel. We did it! Nice work, Applejack. Looks like a problem or so. Hey, Applejack, how's everything going? Oh, just dandy. A little slow starting, but peachy all the same. There's a lot of ground to clear, you hear? We can't even start the planting and the watering until we get all this heap of snow hot-tailed out of here. Well, I'd like to help. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, Twilight. Just give me a chance. Well, I never turn down a hard worker, but... Nuts, Twilight! You use magic! The nerve! Can you believe her? That's not how we do it round here, Twilight. And especially not on my farm. Well, see, I just wanted to... Oh! You two are doing what now? An iron, iron pony competition. See, we've set up a bunch of events to decide which one of us is... The most athletic pony ever! And I'm here to... Uh, I don't know. Why is she here? To be our judge and keep score. Right. <laughs> Some ponies gotta record my awesomeness for the history books. <sighs> Scoff if you must, Rainbow, but the running of the leaves is a Ponyville tradition. And since I'm here to learn, I've decided I should experience it myself. Well, I think that's just dandy, Twilight. Good luck. I don't believe it. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's not the scenery, Twilight. Rainbow Dash just tripped me. She did not. She did too. She did not. And if you slowed down and looked where you're going, like me, you'd see that you tripped over a rock. What? Oh, hey, Seed. Now I got a lot of ground to make up to catch Rainbow. Just be careful. Well, with all your horsing around, it was quite easy. You're right, Twilight. Our behavior was just terrible. Got it, Rarity. Shh. Can't you see Rarity's trying to concentrate? What do you think she's making? Looks like a dress. Well, that makes sense, since this is a dressmaker shop and all. Oh, please. Uh, Twilight, why are you hanging out in a ditch? Interfere from that... Whoa! Twilight, you came to visit my new apple seller. How nice. Twi, you okay? Uh, Twi... Why don't Fluttershy and I show you around Cloudsdale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a oh, great life. Wonderful. And just look at these boring, plain, old feathered wings. I'm doomed. Hold on there, little fella. Yeah. Applejack! Now they're saying all these trees have to go? It ain't fair. Oh, so lovely! Oh, thanks. But that's just the start. Applejack, thank goodness. I thought I heard voices over here. Who are you talking to? I was talking to, uh, no pony. No pony whatsoever. What? Nothing. Come on, uh, we best be going. Did Applejack just... Come on, Twilight. Applejack wouldn't lie. <laughs> Applejack, I'm here to fight for our friendship. Oh, now you want to fight. Where were you when I was battling Disco? Snap out of it. This isn't you. You're not a liar. What happened? Twilight. Oh, I saw a vision of us feuding and fighting. I couldn't face the truth, so I started telling lies. Can you ever forgive me? I already have. Come on! Without Rainbow Dash, we can't use the elements. 
She could be anywhere by now. We're never gonna find her. Okay, Applejack, last rope. Make it count. I'd pay cover if I were you. You all right, hon? No, I am not all right. What? Oh, no. I don't what quite I do. understand. It's just terrible. Yes. yes. Simply awful. Yes. It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. Yes. My letter to Princess Celestia is almost overdue, and I haven't learned anything about friendship. <sighs> Oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. If I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be tardy! Tardy! No offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. Come on now. Have a seat and stop sweating the small stuff. <gasps> wow, I've never seen Twilight so upset before. Magic Kindergarten? Canterlot? We're never gonna see Twilight again! Uh, what are we gonna do, y'all? You can't punish her! It wasn't her fault! But we thought that the thing that she was worrying about wasn't worth worrying about. So when she ran off all worked up, not a single one of us tried to stop her. Happy Nightmare Night, Applejack. Pat is back. Hey, Twilight. Nice costume. Thanks! I'm a dragon. She means me, Spike. With that beard, I reckon you're some sort of country music singer. <laughs> well, y'all are here. You feel like bobbing for an apple? My friend Applejack is one of the most likable ponies around. I'm sure she'll have some ideas. Uh, uh, Applejack? The princess is looking for a little advice on how to fit in around here. Fit in? Really? Mm. <sighs> Shoot. We had everything going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. <laughs> It's not over yet. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her. I'm sorry, Applejack. I don't know how to make it stop. Well, I know some pony who might. Three cutie marks. Three talents. I've never seen anything like it. My sister's flaking in fancy. She needs help. I know she needs help. We can't just wait for this to go away. We gotta find some pony to mix up a cure. And fast. Too sweet. Not some pony. Some zebra. Zikara. Well, I'll wait long enough. Actually, that was way too long. Any questions? I got one. Does she understand what a pet really needs? Yeah, like care and attention, love and affection. Ugh, and breath mints. There just aren't enough words in the dictionary to describe Rainbow Dash's awesomeness. I can think of a few new words. And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill pony. But I'm far too busy saving lives for every pony. But I'm up to the challenge. Now, who in Ponyville would steal my apples? For that matter, who would steal my leaves? Applejack, help! Spike's running wild, and I need you to lasso him! <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Twilight. Sweet little Spike running wild. <laughs> what a laugh. Twilight. Get my rope. Calm down. Clover the Clever? Uh, smart cookie! I know, I know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! They must be Windy 
Wendigos. Wendigos? And now our bodies will become as cold as our hearts. All because we were foolish enough to hate. Well, I don't hate you guys either. Nor do I. No matter what our differences, we're all ponies. I didn't know unicorns could do that. I didn't either. Nothing like this has ever happened before. But I know it couldn't have been just me. It came from all three of us, joined together, in friendship. All through the night, the three ponies kept the fire of friendship alive by telling stories. Can you believe the new baby is finally here? Cupcake and Carrot Cake must be so proud. And be careful around Pumpkin Cake. Baby unicorns get strange magic surges that come and go. Just do your best, Applejack. I'll do better than my best. Who's it from, Twilight? What's it say? It's from Applejack. Family and friends, not coming back to Ponyville. Don't worry, we'll send money soon. That's all there is. Don't worry, we'll search all of Equestria if we have to. We'll bring her back. Y'all are the best. Thank you, girls. I don't know how we'll break it to the Apple family. I don't know how we'll break it to Pony. Tell us what happened, Applejack. There is nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. So, AJ, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot. Totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Cherry Winks, Cherry Cheesecake, Cherry Tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple? I'm glad we're finally gonna get some answers from Applejack. She's gonna get away! Oh no, she won't! Look, girl! Well, just look! I am! You won an amazing number of ribbons, just like Miss Jubilee said. I couldn't come home a failure. Applejack, you're not a failure. So, you're not upset or disappointed? Mm -mm. <clears throat> but what about the mayor? I don't think I can face her and tell her I didn't get that money to fix the broken roof. Applejack, we can always find a way to fix that hole in the roof. But if you don't come back, we'll never be able to fix the hole in our hearts. You can't run away from your problems. Still worried about Flim and Flam? Granny Smith says they were just blowing hot air. I'm not so sure. They sounded mighty serious when they threatened to run us out of business. Don't worry, Applejack. I know you'll win tomorrow. We better. Because if we don't, we're going to lose our farm. Applejack, are you sure this is such a good idea? Me and the family are 100% confident in our cider-making capabilities. And besides, no pony called Granny a chicken. Attention, every pony! Well, good luck. Thanks, Twilight. We'll need it. Um, Ms. Mayor, are honorary family members allowed to help in the competition? Well, I'm not sure. Flim, Flam, would you object to honorary family members helping? Are you kidding? We don't care if the whole kingdom of Canterlot helps. It's a lost cause. Hmm, I guess it's okay. Applejack, what do you think? I think I'd love to have the rest of my family helping out. All right! Okay, every pony, we're not gonna let those smooth talkers take our friend's farm. Yeah! I'm proud of you, Applejack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that will always be rewarded. Go on, y'all. It's okay. Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. I don't see any dragons. Me neither. This way, we can watch every moment of the migration without bringing any unwanted attention to ourselves. I like Gabby Gums too, but don't you think she can be a little mean? She's not mean, Twilight. She's a hoot. And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hell does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. <laughs> oh, look! According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. Dear Twilight, I am sure you are as excited as I am about the upcoming wedding in Canterlot. 
wedding? Your brother's getting married? Congratulations, Twilight. That's great news. Yeah, great news that I just got from a wedding invitation. Has one of your PFFs, Pony Friends Forever, I want to tell you that I think your brother sounds like a real good guy. <laughs> what a long face, Sugar Cube. I'm just thinking about shining armor. Ever since I moved to Ponyville, we've been seeing each other less and less. And now that he's starting a new family with this Princess Miyamori, what's her name? We'll probably never see each other. Come on now. You're his sister. He'll always make time for you. Couldn't seem to make time to tell me he was getting married. And you got a big brother to go congratulate. Yeah, congratulate. Cake, chick. A sculpture, chick. Best darn bite-sized apple fruit you ever tasted? Bad, the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twy. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Ugh, I need the magical compendium volumes one through thirty-six. I'd say she's handling things pretty well, considering. Twyla, uh, did you pass? Uh, no. Focus, Rarity. We're here to help Twilight, not admire the scenery. Sorry, Twilight. These crystal ponies seem to have some kind of collective amnesia or something. Only thing I was able to get out of them was something about a library. <gasps> a library? Oh, why didn't you say so? Uh, thought I just did. What's this thing for? The last page of the book mentioned a crystal heart as the fair centerpiece. So I used my magic to cut one out of a crystal block. Nice work, Twy. I think we're ready to get this fair up and running. Come on, Twilight. These crystal ponies are more curious than a kite. Keep it together, buddy. I gotta stay strong. I'm past. Oh, yeah! You clearly have just what it takes. How in coronation are we supposed to tell which is the real pinky? I have no idea. If I lose, I won't set hoof in Ponyville again. But if you lose, you're the one banished from this one-horse town. <gasps> Come on, Twilight. And now it's time for you to leave Ponyville forever. That's enough, Trixie. And you? How long do I have to wait for my applesauce facial? Forget it, Trixie. I ain't doing nothing till you let Twilight come home. It has a magical lock. Trixie's the only pony who can take it off. Maybe we, could... we need to get this information to Twilight. She'll know what to do. Why don't we just go see what Twilight's up to? I hear Princess Celestia's got her working on some new spells. Oh my gosh! 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 Twilight! Twilight, are you there? Twilight! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <sighs> no, it's okay. I need to take a break anyway. What's going on? I know Spock told you that he was gonna follow his dragon code and serve me forever for saving him from the Timberwolves and that you were okay with it, but... Wait, what? He said he told you all about it. I'm guessing maybe you were a little distracted when he told you. Mm, maybe a little. <sighs> Should have realized you wouldn't have let him go so easily. Well, now that you know what's going on, maybe you could talk some sense into him. Oh, Applejack, I wish I could, but this is dragon code we're talking about. Surely you know how important the dragon code is to a dragon. I sure am starting to. Mm, there's only one other way Spike is going to fulfill the debt he feels he owes you. I don't remember seeing critters on the invite list. That's because we're leaving him here with Spike. He's going to do a little critter sitting for us. Oh, really? Hoo-wee! My dogs are barking. Oh. Did y'all hear that? 
They really are. And since we're not even from here ourselves, who better than us to let you know just how welcoming this place is? We've got to find her before Cadence finds out what a mess we've made of things. I'm sure he's having a great time watching all the critters back at home. Think he's still got a handle on things? <sighs> if he's staying calm and collected, I bet he's doing a terrific job as a leader. A true friend helps a friend a true You? <gasps> oh. I, I've, I've never seen anything like it. Oh. I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for the friendships I've made with all of you. Each one of you taught me something about friendship. And for that... Oh. Looking good up there, Princess Twilight. Applejack, you know, you don't have to call me that. Oh, don't look like that, Sugar Cube. You get to be right there with the other princesses when Celestia raises the sun. And I'm honored. Really, I am. It's just that the Summer Sun celebration is what first brought us all together. It just doesn't feel right not getting to spend such a special day with my Ponyville friends. We do understand that your royal duties must come first. The Summer Sun celebration may have brought us together, but it's something much bigger that'll always keep us connected. Exhibit A. The six of us are united by the elements of harmony. No amount of royal duties is gonna change that. Right, every pony? Uh huh. <laughs> I told you we'd always be connected by the elements. <sighs> now we just gotta figure out who to aim these bad boys at so we can get Celestia and Luna back and keep the rest of Equestria from becoming plant food. Any ideas? Why are you all looking at me like that? It's just... you were mumbling to yourself. Since Luna found the elements, I think it's in danger. Well, all right then. Let's go save a... tree. Uh, where is it exactly? It was close. <sighs> a little too close, if you ask me. You sure you're all right? I'm fine. I just can't seem to get these new wings to do what I want them to do when I want them to you do You have it. been having an awful lot of trouble with those things. And, well... Who knows what else is gonna come after us? You know, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea for Twilight to go back to Ponyville and let us look for the Tree of Harmony without her. What? Why? For starters, you just about got eaten by a crocodile. We all did. He wasn't after just me. Sure, but... Well, the rest of us aren't princesses. What's that got to do with anything? Princess Celestia and Princess Luna are gone. If something happened to you... I just don't think Equestria can risk losing another princess. Twilight, the elements of harmony, they're what keep us connected no matter what. You're right about one thing, Applejack. The elements of harmony did bring us together. But it isn't the elements that will keep us connected. It's our friendship. And it's more important and more powerful than any magic. My new role in Equestria may mean I have to take on new responsibilities. And our friendships may be tested. But it will never, ever be broken. There's no time to lose. Every pony ready? Ready! Good. Now you go, Twilight. All right. That's right. No pony leaves this orchard until we solve this mystery. Agreed? Agreed! There's always opportunity. Wait, no use. Cab drivers just drive right past to get to the next pony in line. In ways so kind, and I gave. Oh, I'm a bit nervous about Cadence's visit. What could you be nervous about, Twilight? Cadence just loves you to pieces. Which is why it is so important that this visit be about the two of us having some real quality time together. I'm guessing you've got a plan that'll keep it that way. The timing couldn't be more perfect. I think it sounds delightful. Yup. Definitely sounds like you two will have some real quality time together. Exactly. Just quiet time. You will make sure that nothing but nothing interferes with your visit. Go on! Have a hoot nanny with your kinfolk. You really are the best friends a pony could ever have. Come in, Cadence! That joker's up to something. <laughs> <laughs> 
And whatever it is, we're gonna keep it as far away from Twilight and Princess Cadence as possible. Did I hear you two talking about Princess Cadence's visit with Princess Twilight? Maybe. Fluttershy had mentioned that those two were getting together today. Mm, how wonderful for them both. It is so rare that those two get to see one another. I don't know about you, but I sometimes wonder how close they could actually be all those years apart before being reunited. They're plenty close. Me too. I'm glad Rarity was picked. I know she'll add a touch of elegance to the whole thing. Probably more than a touch. Hi there! Can we come in? Oh, of course. But watch your step. Oop, sorry about that, little one. We just wanted to see if you thought the Breezies were ready to give it another try. Uh, what did he say? I'd rather not see. Okay, well, I'm sure you know what you're doing. No one knows rare magical creatures like you do. We'll just wait for your word. I think we're all a little nervous about Maud's visit. She's Pinkie Pie's sister, and it's obvious Pinkie really wants us to hit it off. Being able to make those rock candy necklaces together is really important to her. And rock candy necklaces! What's wrong? <sighs> now perhaps we can all at last take a moment to relax. Oh, this is amazing. Could be wrong, but I think they might have noticed. <laughs> I guess a pony who's here on official princess business has to expect a little fuss. Yes, but you get to smile and wave like a princess. How exactly is that different than smiling and waving like not a princess? It isn't. It's just silly. You got a real important role in Equestria. So Pink Celestia had you come all the way to the Crystal Empire just to do that? I mean, whoa! Really regal and important! <laughs> it has been a while since we visited the castle. Might be fun. Maybe I could use a little company right now. I just hope another friend of ours never makes us sorry we had to give them up. Twilight, what were you thinking? Tira. That's it. That's the place on the map. Welcome. Pardon my forwardness, but are you an alicorn? <laughs> that there's the princess of friendship. This year's Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle. I don't mean to sound unappreciative, but has any pony else noticed that Twilight's been a little too helpful lately? Now that you mention it, she was lending a hoof at Sweet Apple Acres the other day and stuck around till near midnight. Dug up 50 tree planting holes when all I needed was 10. I'm Pancake! I mean, awake! Uh, Twilight, is there something you want to tell us? What really makes home feel like home isn't what it looks like. It's the memories you make when you're there. So I inspire you to make new ones. And the best part of it is, it's made from the roots of the Golden Oak Library. So you'll never... It's exactly what the castle needed. And I am ready to make new memories here. Truth be told, I couldn't either. Your kitchen might have some rustic farm decor, Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Nope, I'm good. I love you all. Ow! So impressed you used the huge bonus you earned making the costumes for Sapphire Shore's equestrian wide tour to open the second boutique. But there's a few more things I'd like to add before he gets here, and I could really use a hoof collecting them. Whatever you need, Sugar Cube, we'll help you get it. So, do you think Shannon Armor liked a surprise? Didn't you see him? He couldn't stop raving about it. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this? <laughs> Shucks, Twilight. Y'all done it up nice and cozy in here. We're about to hang our heart swarming dolls, if you want to join us. Well, that's mighty sweet of you, but we're just stopping in to wish y'all a happy heart swarming before we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks, Twilight. We haven't even asked how your weekend went. It was fine. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about Twilight. Bet you were in hog heaven organizing all them books. Again. But I didn't do that, did I? You all did. You were all there, but... <sighs> I wasn't there. I missed out. And seeing you... No. The Princess of Friendship can't get jealous. 
Sure you can, Twilight. And none of us begrudge you for it. Wait a minute. You didn't suggest not inviting Twilight because you wanted to make her feel left out, did you? Wow, Applejack. Are you sure you've never managed a concert before? Well, it turns out doing up a concert's the same as setting up a rodeo. And thanks to Pinky's Connections organizing the Pony Palooza Rock Concert, we've got quite a lineup for the Helping Hooves Music Festival. But I know one place that could never change. Applejack? What can I do for you? It's so good to see you. We couldn't find Pinky or Rarity or Fluttershy or Rainbow Dash, but I just knew you'd still be here. Of course I am. This is my home. But who in tarnation is Pinky Bow and Flutter Dash? Or you, for that matter. You don't know who I am? Nope. Honestly, the only name I recognize is Rarity, but she left for Manhattan years ago. Probably to become a world famous fashion designer, I bet. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she went to help with the cause, like every pony else. The cause? The war against King Sombra and the Crystal Empire. What? Where have you two been? Actually, it's when. I know this is hard to believe, but you and I and those other ponies I mentioned are friends. Did you bump your head on a crate of cider or something? I'm telling you the truth, and if you come with me, I'll prove it. Well, I'll admit, I've lived in these here parts my whole life, and I've never seen this before. There's also supposed to be a castle that goes with it. But I still don't see what this has to do with you and I being friends. Another pony named Starlight Glimmer used this map to travel through time and change things in the past. For some reason, the map's here, but everything else is different. Different how? Well, for one thing, where we came from, there's no war with King Sombra. Maybe you could tell us how the war started. Then we can figure out when everything changed. That's easy enough. I just can't believe it. We stopped King Sombra. You and me and all of our friends. But we aren't friends. At least not here. Right. Look, I hope all this helped, but I really need to get back to canning those apples. Thank you. We're going to set things right. <sighs> I hope you do. We make them for all the apples, and any pony related to Twilight is practically family. Yeah. Well, Dash is a pretty resilient pony. I'm sure she's shaken off her tough first day and turned it around by now. Well, sweeping can be fun too. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep. Only Twilight could make a dance remix about sweeping. I mean, how lame is that? Yeah, it wasn't even catchy. Nope. Thanks, y'all. I guess I just got so used to doing everything a certain way, I didn't realize there were any problems. Having a friend look at what you're doing with an outside eye can really help. Well, now that your chores are streamlined, what are you gonna do with all the extra time? I think I have a few ideas. That's it. We've gotta go talk to Applejack. Good idea. She'll straighten this out. Hold on a tick. Pinkie Pie says it's Rarity's fault, and Rarity says I sank the boat? Well, that's plum crazy. If you two really want to know what happened, I'll tell you. Y'all know how Pinkie Pie and Rarity wanted to get out of their element? Well, I brought a treasure map to give them a rip roaring sea fair and adventure. Oh, let's never fight again. The you green. got it. Steve building? <sighs> Come on, girls. This could be fun. Wee! You solved that triangly thing mighty fast. Twilight, can you help me, please? Wish that Starlight was here to see how strong friendships can be when we trust each other and work together. You've all taught me so much. Have to say what I'm thinking. You already know without even blinking. We have to help the yaks. So in conclusion, we have to help the yaks! Hmm? Just go with it, hun. Great idea, Pinky. We'll be happy to help the Yaks. This is what friendship is all about. Hey, I'll bring apples. This season's batch are extra juicy. Sure, if I go out there and talk to those ponies, they'll see that they're being unreasonable. <laughs> I need a hundred blankets, and I need them now. Sorry, Twilight. I don't need nothing fancy. 
What's the matter, Applejack? I'm popular, Twilight. I'm popular and I don't like it one bit. You go ahead. I'll stay here. Applejack, who are all these ponies? They call themselves the Sweet Apple Admirers. They say they read my journal entries and they felt like a part of the family. And now they actually want to become part of the family. Your journal entries? Yeah, you know, all the stuff about how friends are like family and whatnot. Can't you get rid of them? They kick out my own family? Granny Smith, hang on! Let me help! There she is! Yeah! Oh, I wish we'd never released that journal. <laughs> Reckon we still have to deal with them, don't we? Stay in the friendship moment, Applejack. They can wait a little longer. She won't listen to me. She won't let me apologize. <sighs> I feel terrible. Well, you have been lying to her. To all of us, actually. Yeah. Is there anything else you're lying about that we should know? Uh, you kind of crushed her anyway. It really shows how much you're willing to do for your friends. <laughs> Just remember, in the future you can always be honest with me. Uh, I could have told her that. Luckily, she's got a whole bushel of helpers right here. Total went through the journal again, and it's amazing! While I appreciate your enthusiasm, Twilight, this is hardly the time to take risks on half-baked spells. <laughs> Begging your pardon, Mr. The Bearded, but Twilight doesn't do anything halfway. <laughs> it's time to show them what you've got. You can be honest, let your problem be known. Cause you got us. So now what? We can't hide here forever. And let's be honest. We're in this together. We got your back. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, you. Quick thinking, Twilight. Yahoo! Ha <laughs> ha! You think maybe it's time we talk to Twilight? Princess, you talk to me. That's different. You're not a princess, princess. But if I keep her in the show, she'll be the laughing stock of Equestria, and I'll be a worse friend. You need to tell Celestia the truth, Twilight. Any other suggestions? Just a bright light of hope being snuffed. But that's okay. If we can't cancel the show, I know what I have to do. Be honest with Celestia and give the lead role to some pony else? Not a chance. Twilight, you know truth is a huge part of friendship. And so is making another pony's dreams come true. Look, I promised Celestia that this time she could be a part you of- can't put on a show with no lead actress. You go find Celestia. We'll figure out a way to stall this thing till you get back. You had good intentions, Twilight. But you know that the truth is always better than a well-meant lie. Didn't Applejack remind you? about a hundred times. And now, because I didn't listen to her, I've ruined your whole one's versary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were actually just competing the entire time, weren't you? To tell you the truth, yeah. What is that thing? It's called a Yovitaphone. It's from Yak Yakistan, where it's actually quite popular. Okay, maybe we can just pretend she's really good, and then I'll find a spell that will- Oh, no, no, no! We're not going through that again. Remember how well it worked out when you weren't honest with Celestia about her acting ability? Hmm, you're right. 
From what Professor Fossil said, it sounds like Rockhoof just hasn't settled into modern times yet. Our school is the perfect place for that. Plus, we get a new teacher. <laughs> this may be the fastest friendship problem you ever Our school is about finding your own special way to teach. And we can already tell you're a smash with the class. <laughs> but maybe you could do a little less smashing in the classroom? No time to build into blaze. We have to get every pony out. <laughs> Canterlot looks different from the old days. Oh, I'm sure once you see your old pal Flash Magnus, you'll feel right at home. Truck to Why do the hippogriffs need ships if they can turn into sea ponies? Maybe they just like cruises? No, stars can move slowly over time. They must look different now than over a thousand years ago. Be careful. Tartarus has changed since you were there. It now holds many dangerous creatures, and you won't be able to rely on your magic. With her friend by her side, she won't have to. Granny's apple core, no bite, no more. That'll keep the flies off. Too bad we can't do anything about the rainstorm. I can't stop. I knew we shouldn't have left. Put Starlight's in charge at the school. If any pony can stop Cozy Glow, it's her.